Well, it's another day. Likely to be an interesting day, hopefully not quite as chaotic as it had been eight hours earlier covering the apartment fire in Cluj. I was amazed how well the Canadian troops had handled the situation. But now, we're heading into Priador, in a Serbian-controlled side of Bosnia. After breakfast, we are off to the other side. I was sort of getting used to the countryside. Ethnically cleansed homes, devoid, burnt out ruins, empty, no sign of life. In 45 minutes, we arrived at White Fang Checkpoint, manned by the British. It was nothing more than a sandbag point on a narrow road. Six British soldiers, a couple of venerable armored personnel carriers, along with a Sabre light tank. That's all that was there. The Sabre was parked along a bombed out house, ready for whatever might happen. A small but effective show of force.
continued along the road, arriving in Prador, a somewhat unsettling place. During the war, it was home to 28 different concentration camps, some of the more notorious in the whole country. The infamous Omarska camp, Karaturn camp, and Chernopolsk camp. It was here where pictures were beamed out of the country of gaunt, starved men, shirtless and shoeless. Horrifying images frighteningly similar to what we had witnessed at the end of the Second World War in Germany. People, and more interestingly, children, are not as friendly here. There's a sense of resentment towards NATO here. We pulled into the Canadian Post in the middle of downtown Prador and were given a briefing. After the briefing, we had an interesting, spontaneous interview with a Bosnian Canadian who had just returned to his homeland. By the Nazi. And over 1.3 million by the Muslims and Croats. Yes, sir. I can ask you, you guys, I said, do you know your father and mother, eh? And you, of course, you do. I don't. Because they've been killed by the Muslims at that time. And this is the ongoing struggle of the Serbian people and said to survive. Can you tell us a little bit about, um, I guess, the, the what we talked about in there in terms of the I-4 uh, forces and, and how um, appreciated or not appreciated they appear in the Serbian side? Well, th there, is, there are two problems here. The, as I can see, the I-4 is here to protect the really Serbs. But um, uh, some of the politicians put probably by Milosevic Shane through his party trying to undermine and, and, uh, and uh, show that the I-4 actually to, to, to be portrayed as an enemy. And of course, you know, we know, quite frankly, that if the I-4 leaves, uh, the Serbs will be really under heavy pressure to, to leave these territories where, where they live for uh, centuries. This is the Serbian land. If wherever you go, they always live in, uh, as a majority. Today, uh, they become majority because of the, all this ethnic cleansing, because uh, most of the, uh, uh, those uh, low per percentage of the Muslims had to, to go because of the internal let's say, pressure. But the non-Serbs uh, which lived in Croatia and, uh, and other territories of the Bosnia, they came to this area as only safe haven for them, just trying to save their lives. We have, uh, I mean, as a major last um, talk yesterday, uh, mayor of the Sanski Most uh, doesn't even want to turn, to discuss with the I for let's say, or any organization to allow Serbs to visit their homes. Well, on the other side, you heard him saying, you know, those, those let's say, Muslims, they want to come here, and the Serbs are willing to accept that. But the Muslims, they don't want to. That's the problem. Is that maybe partly because this time around in this war, it was the, the, the Muslims that were, you know, like the mass graves and all of that sort of thing, like the ethnic cleansing and so on. Like, I mean, it's the, the feeling and the, the resentment is more immediate because it, it just happened as opposed to, you know, some of what's happened in history. Do you suppose that that's where some of the feeling and anger is coming from? Well, it's everything together. I mean, all together, if you, if you put, like, uh, mass graves probably do exist some, uh, but not as mass graves on the scale as uh, portrayed. But what about mass graves in Sarajevo where about over 30,000 people are slaughtered and they even I for knows about those let's say graves. They know it. And everywhere, but uh, the, the international community is trying to turn, let's say, black eye, and, uh, and the Serbs are like, uh, you know, uh, target for the Muslims, let's say, they can do anything about them. They, they are disposable, actually, commodity even, you know. It's a, but the Serbs actually, they, they have a bad history, you know, I mean, uh, their experience with the Muslims and the Croats uh, in the past couple of, I mean, those uh, world war wars, let's say, world wars, those, uh, that experience is still on in the mind of all of us, because as I'm saying, you know, uh, 
I don't recall my father because I never saw him when I, I was just baby when World, Second World War started. So in my mind, that resentment is still there. We fear from them because they, they try to convert us better to, to, to the Islam. What is happening basically like uh, when you read, let's say, you open any phone book, you will see the same last name. The only different to different land to differentiate actually the, the non-Serbs and, and Muslims and Croats, you will see, but the first name, they are all the same, the same ethnic origin. But what is happening basically in the past, as we are always saying in the, in the English language, for example, a, that uh, somebody tried to be better Catholic than the Pope. The Muslims are here, local Muslims are trying to uh, become better uh, Muslims than probably those Muslims, that those Arabs, let's say, in, in Mecca. Considering the, uh, uh, the implications of, of economic, not sanctions, but ex economic warfare and political warfare that the Sarajevo is reducing on the region, what difference do you see between uh, extremist Islamic uh, fundamentalists in Algiers and in Egypt in comparison to here? Is, well, there, any, is there any difference? Well, there is no difference in between the new leaders of the, of the uh, Bosnian Lancet government. Those are the same extrem extremities, I mean, ex extremists, uh, the same as Al Algerian or any other, let's say, uh, Iranian, for example. There are very few moderate Lancer Muslims in, in the Izadbegovic government. We know, for example, you know about Ganic, which was is a, a war criminal of the of the highest rank. He ordered slaughtering of the Serbs. It was filmed, and they, and they, all those files are available to anybody if they want to see it, and nobody wants. They are after Karadzic and Mladic, which actually did not ever order any of this, neither in there any public speech. There is no such a document. Not that I'm trying to, you know, to defend these two guys. They are just victims of the, of the relentless propaganda. What do you think the ultimate uh, motive? What is, what's their motivation? Uh, what do you mean? With the, uh, the government in place uh, in Sarajevo, what is their motivation? Uh, uh, with respect to, uh, to the Muslims, or yeah, sorry, to the uh, Serbians in this region. Well, there, there is a simple answer: is this, as I can say, you know, they just try to uh, convert all of this region to is purely and, and a pure Islamic state. That's their only aim, and they are willing to cooperate Croats because Croats are, are tied to the West. And that's the road actually to get the financing. So they are trying to actually to uh, get the Croats on there to, to get them in any possible arrangement just because of that. Unfortunately, Croats are gambling too, you know, because uh, as I can see, you know, they will be losing uh, in maybe 20 or 50 years from now, they will be losing not only Bosnia but also Dalmatia. Alma Dalmatia will be taken over by the Muslims. What is your first name? Slavko. How do you spell that? S L A V K O. Okay, and your last name? Grujicic. G R U J I C I C. Okay, could you say that again slowly? Grujicic. G R U J I C I C. Okay, all right. Thank you. What he spoke of was utterly fascinating in its honesty. It certainly gave us a more balanced view of what the problem is in Bosnia, explaining the difference or lack of differences between Muslims and Serbs. Then we were off with our Serbian interpreter to visit her mother in a local apartment. The power was out as it had been for a couple of years. We had to walk the seven flights of stairs to the small apartment. We were greeted by a warm and friendly woman in her late 40s. She offered us some strong coffee for which I was beginning to develop a taste for. So really she's the first uh, Serbian person that I've talked to since I've been over here. So like maybe we could start at the beginning. It won't take long, but we can make that's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. 
Have you got any questions? Oh yes, oh yes, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I'm wondering, um, first off, can you tell me like what uh, what life was like in the war, both with Croatia and with the um, Muslims, what life was like here for your family? Svim bi, svima je bilo teško. Ne može se reći samo Srbima. Svi okay. su gubitnici. Svi. It was hard for everybody, not just for Serbs. Everybody was loser. Svima je jako teško. Svi ispaštaju. Neko je ostao bez puća. Somebody was teased without houses. Bez članova porodica. Without members of the families. A mi ovdje, na primjer, živimo, nemamo redovne plate, teško je, mučimo se, rat je, ne rade fabrike. Tako, mislim, to je sve posljedice rata. Što se, na primjer, desilo mojim rotima, to je stvama, kroz rat? Nama, na primjer. Prvo, što nam je žao, što što mnogi ljudi su željni svojih porodica, mnogi ljudi su nestali, mnogi ljudi su otišli, dobri ljudi, fini. Niko nas nije dirao. As nobody didn't touch us. And then what did uh, was was there any fighting in this area? Bilo bilo barbi u ovom području. Jeste bilo maj, 92. godine je bilo. I sad kad je NATO kad su bombardovali, jeste bilo. And they bombed us. Mhm. Granatiranje, bombardovanje, relay kad je srušen. Up to the mountains we have uh, satellites. And it was destroyed. Satellites, did you say? Okay. Na Mrakovici, to je tu blizu. Up to that mountain there, called Mrakovica. So it was really like the worst, well, the fighting that they saw was during the war with Croatia. To ovaj, borbu koju smo vidjeli, to je bilo kroz rad sa Hrvatskom. Jeste, ali jeste i sa muslimanima, sine. Kad je bio napad, onda je... Yeah, it was with the Muslims, and it was with Croatia. What was the, uh, I guess, the, the worst thing that uh, your your parents can remember over this over this time? My parents was happy because nobody didn't get killed in our family. Na primjer, mi nemamo vodu od 92. godine. We don't have any water in our apartment since 1992. To nam je najteže, na primjer, nemamo vodu. Nemamo struvi. That's the biggest problem. We don't have a power. I understand that you're both school teachers. So I'm wondering what kind of changes you saw in the schools where you teach. Pošto razumije da ste ti i tata oboje nastavnici, da radite u školi, je se desilo kakvih promjena u školi? Jedine promjene što, na primjer, nema muslimanske djece ni hrvatske, to su možda jedno djete u razredu da bude, oni su otišli. Neki su morali da odu, neki su sami otišli maju. Neki su sami otišli na pustilište. What, of the children who are left, are any of them left without parents, or left like hurt in any way, or or do they have nightmares? Like, how, are the kids adjusted now, physically uh, and mentally? Yes, na primjer koja su otišli, su ona nekako ugrožena, da se nešto njima desilo, jer su ona otišli s roditeljima bez. Djeca su otišla s roditeljima, mnogi se nisu ni pozdravili, možda nisu smijeli, nisu se ni javili. They didn't even say hello or bye, I'm going. Nisu se javili, vjerovatno nisu smijeli, to je sve bilo u tajnosti. They couldn't or they was not allowed, everything was secret. Mada u školi niko ne vrši pritisak na tu djecu. Ja, na primjer, imam dijete u razredu, ne pravim razlike, ne. But my mom is a... A ni moje kolege, ne. Djevojčica, ali tako? Djevojčica, kod mene. Yeah, it's a one girl, she's a Muslim, but my mom doesn't make any changes because she's a Muslim or 
to, to make any any kind of problems because she's a Muslim. She don't mind. It. Isto moje kolege ne pravi razlike. Ako je dijete hrvatsko, uh, doesn't make masko. any problems if the kid Nema is problema. Muslim, Croat, is the same as it is. Ista prava, isto sve ovo, sve kao ostala djeca prema njima. What about the children? Do the children fight with each other though? Jesu djeca na primjer svađaju jedna s drugim? Ne, 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 to to prosvetni radnici ne dozvoljavaju, a i nema to među djecom. No, the school teacher would not allow that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ja sam na niže, niži je uzrast, ne osjeti se to. The kids are younger, my mom teaches younger kids. Ne. Mm-hmm. Nema to. What um, I guess uh, on the political side of things, what I mean, we hear a lot, obviously, from the Muslims about ethnic cleansing, that kind of thing. What um, from from the Serbian side of things, because I've hardly heard their their side of things. Like what what uh, w- were their reasons for the war? What what are the things that uh, that that make them a- most angry about this war and and the atrocities that happened to them? Što na primjer što se tiče ono čuo se što se tiče priča sa muslimanske strane, sa srpske strane na primjer što je ono što ti misliš da je najgore u ratu i kako se to desilo? Što sad misliš o tome? Ne znam, ja mislim da muslimani misle da smo mi krivi, naši misle da su oni krivi, međutim ja ne znam. Ja mislim da pošten narod nije kriv. Narod da obični narod da gubi da su oni nezadovoljni jedni, drugi, treći, da njima, a ekstremi su majo krivi, kojih ima na sve tri strane. Okay, my mom a narod ne. That the Serbs are say that the Muslims are guilty, that the Muslims are, that the Serbs are guilty, that uh, the small people like uh, the usual regular people doesn't have anything to do with that. Those just uh, extremes, the people who I don't know who, who, do, who are different. Not the small people, but they are guilty for this. Isto kaže da, na primjer, mi koji smo bili dobri sa Hrvatima ili sa muslimanima, da smo i dalje ostali. Da mene kolegnica juče zove iz Zagreba, eto, sad su proradile veze. Like my mom, she, uh, she's working as a school, school teacher and uh, she had a, a lot of friends who was uh, Croats, Muslims. And, uh, yeah, okay. There was Croat Muslims and she, they are still good friends and uh, she, she has... Uh, She had before the war started uh, one uh, school teacher. She was also she was a Croat, and uh, she made a phone call to my mom yesterday from Zagreb. And they're still a good friends. Is there? Do you find though that there's a lot of anger, especially among the the refugees that are coming back? Like they were displaced from Sisansk most or other places, and they're here now in Prijedor. Um, is there a lot of anger among those people still towards uh, the other sides? Ja, na primjer, kao što postoje izbjeglice, na primjer, ovdje imamo izbjeglice iz Sanskog mosta, jesu oni, na primjer, ljuti na drugu stranu, jesu čuo nešto o tome? Ja mislim da jesu, ali ne mogu ja to sa njihove tačke gledišta znati, ja nisam u njihovoj poziciji. Možda onaj koji je ostao bez porodice, onaj koji je izgubio sina, koji je izgubio nekog, on to drugačije gleda. A tata i ja, koji smo prosvjetni radnici, hvala Bogu, nismo nikog izgubili, mi to malo drugačije gledamo, ljudski je malo. There's somebody who maybe who left his house and who lo- lost a house in a war. Maybe he watched that from the other. He's in the other position than my parents, and uh, or maybe somebody who lost her son or I don't know daughter, family. It's the different position than we do. And my parents, they don't mind. They I don't know. They're not in the same position, so she can say what they feel. Right. Does she does she socialize much? Like, do the people who stayed here in Prijedor during the war, um, do they socialize much with the people who are coming in from other areas, or are there two separate sort of groups of people? Na primjer, ljudi koji dolaze sa drugog područja, na primjer, kao izbjeglice, jeste ti, na primjer, ono, druži sa njima, jer jednostavno, ono, jeste se socializovali, ili jednostavno ste dve odvojene, kao, dve odvojene grupe? Pa ja mislim, moje mišljenje je da smo baš dvije odvojene grupe. Oni nas smatraju kao da smo mi u nekoj dobroj poziciji, da mi dobro živimo, a njima da je teško, a mi opet imali smo bolje uslove života tad, pa to mislimo, eto sad, da nam je bilo onda bolje nego sad, znaš, Majo. Međutim, ja znam da je njima teško. Nekako nismo se baš ono srodili, nekako žalimo za onima koji su bili fine, a otišli su, znaš, Majo. She thinks that there are two separate groups because uh, those people, refugees, think that the people who stay here over, during the war 
uh, had a good life and that they 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 live just different and better conditions and that they like refugees are living very hard and that their life is hard and so it should be something like a two separate groups and my mom is very sorry because of the people who had to go or who go by themselves because there was a good people like she feels very sorry because of that. What about the, the, the people who left for other countries, who left um, um, as refugees, like Serbian refugees who went to see Canada or Germany or, you know, wherever, um, and, and they're not coming back? Um, what, uh, is, is, it, is there any resentment towards those people for not coming back and helping to rebuild? Na primjer postoji ljudi koji su na primjer izbjeglice, na primjer se služimo Srbi, koji su ošli u Kanadu, Njemačku, jer oni na primjer imaju nešto da oni dođu ovdje da grade, nešto da... Ja to ne znam, sine. She doesn't know. Što ne znam. Oni znači da će 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 da but they didn't come back. Like they're staying in Canada and they're making yeah. a new life there where the people here have it hard and they're trying to, yeah. you know. But that's not the same with the Serbian side, I guess. Then. Na primjer, to što uh, sad, na primjer, ljudi smo s Kimaske strane, ona je vidjela da ti ljudi, na primjer, otišli su možda u Kanadu, u Njemačku, negdje. I da oni jednostavno ne braćaju se, da ostaju da žive tamo. Znaš što ja mislim, sine? Da su mnogi otišli u daleko bolje uslove nego su imali i ne žele da se vrate. Iako se smatraju izbjeglicama da im je teško, ali otišli su bolje uslove. I oni se ne žele vratiti, ja mislim. But there's no hard feelings against those people for wanting to have that better life in another country. On the primer, there are no such feelings that are different. For example, the people who are for the people who are for the other side. For example, Muslims and Muslims. I mean, Muslims for Muslims, or for Serbs. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But there is no. No, no. No, there is no. What um, what does your your mom and your, and your family hope for most, like in terms of politically over the next few months, next few years, and uh, in terms of uh, like whether the war, you know, begins again, ends again? Like what what do they hope for? I guess what do they want to see ultimately uh, the former Yugoslavia to look like? Dimo kao što smo živjeli da se živi mirno, da se može putovati. She would like to 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 have a war that the war stops. She doesn't want to war anymore. That people, that the kids can go to school to have a better life. That we can be free. That we can that we can go free wherever we want. To do whatever we want free. So, how how long do you think that will last? Like how long do you think that will last? I don't know. I'm afraid. When I was born, I was afraid that. Može doći vrlo lako do rata. Jer jako teško se to može, ja mislim, bar dogovoriti. Teško ide to da se dogovori nikako da se nađe zajednički jezik, možda nekim mirnim putem. Da se plašim, ja i mislim, to je moje mišljenje. Ja se ne razumijem baš mnogo u politiku. She doesn't know a lot of po about politics. That's okay. Is um, is the was the war is something that was uh, that the people wanted, or was it something that was that started on a political level and then gained momentum at the gra at the grassroots? Pa što ste čerate, al to nešto što su ljudi željeli, ali što je počelo na političkim nivoima. Ja mislim da bar naš narod to nije želio i mislim smo da neće biti rata. My opinion is that our People didn't want a war, and we didn't want a war. Muslims are making them prepare for it. Long they are preparing for that war. Muslims are making them are making them themselves ready a long time ago for that war. And we didn't know that. We didn't know that. Gradli su podzemne apoteke, onda se munice. They built the underground and with us some certain hospitals with the medicines. We didn't know that. We didn't know that. We spent a lot of faith. We trust them. We had a lot of trust in them. 
We hear a lot um, in, in the uh, North American media about, um, about uh, Serbians and a lot of it uh, in the first couple of years was very, very negative. And, uh, um, you know, we heard about the ethnic cleansing and that kind of thing and the mass graves and everything. Why do you think it was that um, the, the Serbs were, were so ostracized? Do you know that word, ostracized? Um, yeah. No. Uh, were so, um, I guess, hated by the international community. Uh, okay. Ovako, pošto u tamo sjevernoameričkim mediji su, na primjer, na početku rata imali jako negativan stav prema Srbima. I onda, ovaj, po čemu, na primjer, sad tvoj stav je, na primjer, takav da, ovaj, sad je drugačije razumiješ mišljenje? Ja ne znam, ja mislim, od kad su došli ovdje u našu zemlju da su mogli da upoznaju Srbe, da mi nismo takvi kako se o nama pričalo, da mi ne mrzimo ni danas muslimani ni hrvate, da ne volimo ekstreme, a ne mrzimo ih. Kako se možete u ovom kontekstu, možda imaš učinu da vidite srbs i da vidite da ne hvala muslims, da ne hvala kroatis. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. To je mišljenje ovdje, da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. Samo se bojimo da im se ne može vjerovati. That's an old word. There's no such thing as checking. Uh, Mento ne smeta, da. Mento ne smeta, mada sam slušala jednu emisiju kad je rečeno da nas muslimani zovu istočetnici i Radovana i ono, mada naši kažu za Aliju gospodin Alija. Okay, uh, I don't mind gospodin Alija but, uh, iz Begović. I, I was listening one show and uh, the Muslims said for us also chetniks. But uh, our people, uh, the Muslim presidents, calls Mr. Alia. Da, mislim to. Meni ne smeta. Meni lično više sam na to navikla. To mi ne smeta. I don't mind because I get used on it. A to kad kažu četiri ste pogrebno, Majo. It's a bad word. Do you, do you trust the, the TV stations here, the news that you get in terms of uh, being propaganda or being the truth? Jel vjeruješ vijestima, na primjer, emisijama koje čuješ, s obzirom, na primjer, radio, TV, s obzirom da je to propaganda, na primjer, ili da je istina? Ja svake vijesti primam sa 50%. Ne vjerujem, nijedni ima. I don't believe to any, because I take only 50% of that. Evo zašto. Kad je bio rat u Hrvatskoj, kažu jedan boginuo. Dva. Onda sam rekla kakav je... Kada je bio rat u Hrvatskoj, kada je bio rat u Hrvatskoj, Onda sam rekla kakav je to neko strašan rat kad jedan čovjek pogine ili dva, dok nije ovdje bio, pa sam onda vidjela koliko ljudi gine. Znači, zato ne, nemam puno povjerenje, ne znam, ipak sa dozom rezerve sve primam. I understand that towards the end of the war, just before, well actually it was a couple days after the the Dayton Peace Accord came into place. Um, the I think it was Five Corps or Seven Corps, maybe Seven Corps tried to um, to take uh, Priador, Five and they Corps. failed. Um, what were, were your parents worried about that? Kada nekoliko dana na primjer prije potpisivanja Daytonskog sporazuma Peti Korpus je htio da da uzme Priador. Da? Ja, što ste što vi ti tako da uzabrinu tad? Ja sam bila zabrinuta, ali ni jednog momenta nisam spakovala svoje stvari. Nisam. I was worried, but I didn't pack my stuff, so... Ne samo zato što se nisam bojala. Not because I wasn't afraid. Nego sam smatrila kad su ljudi daleko više ostavili. Not even I thought because the people left more than I can left, so... Onda mogu i ja da ostavim, samo da se izvuče živa glava. Then I can left some stuff just to be alive. I ništa me više nije interesovalo. Ništa, ništa nisam spakovala. Ništa baš. I didn't pack anything. I'm interested in a guy by the name of Fikret Abdic. And... I, I know, uh, like they talk about him, of course, a lot in the Bihać pocket, you know, from Velika Kladuća to Bihać, he's a big name there. But um, uh, he's, right now he's in Croatia, and they're, and they're keeping him in Croatia, like protecting him in a way. Um, now there's lots of theories on why that's happening, and some of it has to do, like, with, um, uh, he's seen as a destabilizing force, so he, it could be a way of Croatia conquering Serbia by you know, using Muslims and the other thing is the exact opposite, that it's a stabilizing force and it will prevent more war and keep peace. What does, what does your mom think of this guy and, and the kind of power 
uh, that, that he has in that area and whether uh, his influence in the upcoming election is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Ovako, što se tiče, ona je zainteresovana u, što se tiče Fikreta Abdića, pošto znaš da je Fikreta Abdić veliko ime što se tiče regije Bihać, velika kladuša i ovaj, on se sada trenutno nalazi u Hrvatskoj. A sad u, sad u ovom periodu dolaze izbori i ne znam se šta će biti na izborima, tako da što ti u stvari misliš o Fikreta Abdiću na izborima? Ne znam, ja mislim samo da je on bio izabran u misto Alije, onda do rata ne bi došlo. Uh, I don't know, but I think that he became a president when Ali Izetbegović became a president, that there, there wouldn't be any war. Jer Izet, ovaj, Abdić je ipak čovjek koji je vezan za privredu, za rad, za, za ljude, za dobro ljudi. Abdić is a, is a man who is who's connected for a, good for a people, to who, for a agriculture. Izet Begović, on je bio vezan za rat i njemu je bitno da islam prevlada. Ali Izet Begović is a man who was connected with a war and he wanted just uh, islam to come here. What uh, what is your mom's uh, um, uh, or what what does she think is is aside from I4 leaving? Um, what is the greatest threat to peace in in uh, the former Yugoslavia right now? Uh, što se tiče ove kad I4 ode, što misliš da je najveća prijetnja uh, Jugoslaviji kad mislimo na bivšoj Jugoslavi kad ona? Bivšoj. Da. Ne znam bivšoj, ja mislim kad oni odu, ne znam, ja mislim da mora doći sukobe između Muslimana i između Srba. Jer ne mogu se dogovoriti, ne znam. Ex Jugoslavia, but the, the, the Muslims and the Serbs, I think they will be fight again. Ne možemo prihvatiti. To make agreement or... Ne možemo prihvatiti mi da živimo u takvoj jednoj zemlji gdje smo bili pokoreni. Znaš, Majo, na primjer, ako se prihvatimo da živimo u Bosni i Hercegovini, to ne možemo. In one country, like that we live in Bosnia and Hercegovina, and that somebody is maybe higher than us, so... We can accept that. Um, we hear that sometimes on, on the Serbian side that um, I4 is not um, not well liked on this side because uh, it, it's seen as um, a um, uh, an army, an occupation army, and not um, as uh, helping the situation. I'm wondering if, if you've heard that and if you think that also. I Dobro, naprimjer, je to isto tvoje mišljenje? Moje mišljenje nije i nije mišljenje svih. Jeste pojedinaca, oh, pojedincima smeta. It's not, and uh, it's maybe opinion of individuals, some individuals, but not of the most, mostly of the people. A dosta ljudi smatra isto što ja smatram, od kad su došli mir je i nema sahrana ni na jednoj strani. When the I4 comes, the peace comes. Nema and there is no any fuels and... Uh, there is no people who cries. What, um, there, there is a difference between uh, uh, the way that uh, uh, everybody in Bosnia uh, views UMPA4 versus uh, I4. Uh, in your mind, what's the difference between I4 and UMPA4? Koja je, na primjer, za tebe razlika između I4 i UMPA4, pošto dosta mi u Bosni primjer gleda razlika između UMPA4 i I4? Ja ne znam sve što radi UMPA4, Majo, nije baš ono jasno. I don't know about UMPA4. I4 više znam zbog tebe more about I4, because I'm working with I4, but I don't know anything about I4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess uh, um, wh what sort of areas are being concentrated on here in Priyadur to rebuild uh, rebuild the city, rebuild the country? Like, what what's the first priority of rebuilding here? What is the first priority of rebuilding here? Rebuilding? Yes. Ja ne znam šta će biti prvo maju, ali moja želja bila i šta je trebalo, trebalo prvo da pošto fabrike radi, skoro ni jedna fabrika ne radi maju. I don't know what will be first, but I would like to first to factories to start working, because there is no factory who works here. Onda škola treba da se gradi, koja je početa i stala zbog rata u kojoj ja radim. Schools, I work, it started to build before the war started, but now it stops. What does uh, she think is going to happen in the upcoming elections? Što mislite da će se desiti na izborima koji dolaze? Ne znam, nisam 100% sigurna ni u jednu stranu. Ja ne, nisam ni za kog sigurna. Ne, 100% nisam sigurna. Ne, ne znam. Ne znam.
We weren't quite finished yet. Next, we'd be heading over to the small Canadian Czech post in Lubia. <laughs> 